Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to start working with functions. Functions are a fundamental building block of all programming languages. And PowerShell, of course, is a programming language. So I want to show you now how to do that. The made up scenario we have here is that we want to create 10 lists. We, in the previous demo, I showed you how to create one single list. And now we want to do that 10 times. We could, of course, do it the simple way, just copy and paste, and just do this 10 times, and then change the relevant sections. But that is really not the way you want to do things, because we're working here. The reason we're coding in general is that we want to automate things. We want to make sure that sure things are done in the same way many times. And yes, copy and paste does work, but it's not the way you want to build your code, because it's going to get really long. And once you want to change something everywhere, search and replace works. But no, it's not beautiful. You should be working with functions. And every time you do a function, you're going to thank yourself after. And also, of course, your coworkers, the people that are going to take over your code is going to hopefully like your code much better. So work with functions. That's what I'm going to show you in this demo. So first of all, we want to start with using the keyword function here. And then we're going to name my function. It's going to be create my list. And then we put uh, parentheses and a curly bracket. And the curly brackets indicate the start and the end of my function. So everything that the function does should be inside here. Everything that we put inside the function should be tab indented. And that's because you want to make it more readable. All the time when you're writing code, you want to think about readability because somebody's going to curse at you. Somebody's going to yell at you if you don't do this. You're going to yell at yourself if you don't understand the code you wrote a couple of months ago or somebody else who's trying to take over your code is going to yell at you. So readability is important. So let's just take this bit here now and put it in here. And as you see, we've put the tab there to make it more readable. Then this function now is going to have two parameters. It's going to have the list name and it's going to have the list URL. And as you see, I'm starting those with the dollar sign because they are variables. Variables and parameters are the same in this case. So parameters are variables being sent into a function. So now I can take these variables and put them in here, right? Like that. And then I can do this for the list URL. There we go. So now this function is taking the list name and list URL that I sent in and creating a list based on that, right? So of course, now in the function here, we can also do a documentation of why we're doing it this way. Always uh, versioning on. It's a good business rule that we can have in there and a bit of explanation if this is complicated code, so on. So that's good. Comments are always good. Now we're going to call this function. And we're going to do that with create my list. Of course, we just type it in and then we call it with the parameters. So the list name is going to be the first one in there, list name. And the name is going to be hello world two. And the, uh, the list URL is going to be hello uh, world two without the spaces. Great. There we go. All right. So now if I run this code here by just pressing F8 or running the selection, there it's not going to work now because it doesn't know this function yet. It understands it, but I haven't introduced it properly. So let's just do this and introduce the function. So let's clear out the error message and run the function first. Just F8 that so that we introduce this to PowerShell now. Now we can run this, create my list. And now it should work. Yes, there you go. Now it's creating that list. Hello world. And let's go in and refresh here. And you will see that it's there. Hello world 2 is there. Great. So now uh, we can, of course, make this function a little bit better. We can do uh, write, write host and say list and then the list name and then plus. The plus is how we uh, concatenate strings in PowerShell, one way to do it. Uh, 
has been created there. I can put that in green also, foreground color, green, beautiful, like that. Uh, and then we have to put this whole thing inside the parentheses, the whole string that we're gonna send out. So this now just types in, types out to the screen, uh, the, like a progress uh, report here. So now if I uh, add this here, there, before we can run this again, now we can, we can do hello world three, that, and just run that line of code now. There we go. Now we got this friendly message there. The list world hello three has been created. Yeah, even an exclamation mark would be nice there, right? Cool. So now we can run this function and it's doing everything it should be doing. So we have a function that works. I think that concludes this demo actually, how to build a function. So we've built a function, we've enhanced the function with a little or a progress message thing. Yeah, so we have done some progress in this script. Thank you for watching this demonstration.